for fronts and inwards, you want to be a little hollow and you have to make sure you line up your arms to your ears and squeeze tight. Everything needs to be a like perfect tight line to try to trap the water so it doesn't splash up when you go in the water. And then backs and um, reverses, you have to be a little bit more arched slightly in order to create that same motion. Judges have a lot to focus on in the course of one dive. They have to watch the takeoff and that you want to see the diver get to the end of the board and so that they're at a good distance away from the board. You don't want them to be too far, but you also don't want them to be dangerously close. And then you want to see that they get good height and are tight through the air, pointed toes, straight body, and then have a really good entry. I think sometimes people don't realize how much strength is necessary for diving. When you watch the Olympics and big competitions like that, everything that the, those divers do is so graceful and beautiful and it looks effortless, but you have to have a lot of core strength and leg strength to be able to jump that high off the board and then to be able to control your body enough and then really get a clean entry. So I think that people don't always realize how much strength is necessary. I was a gymnast before and then after I quit gymnastics, I thought that this would be somewhat of a natural progression. and. A lot of gymnasts quit gymnastics and then are looking for a sport that's somewhat similar and then end up trying diving. I've been watching the Olympics for as long as I can remember. It's one of my favorite things every four years. I look forward to it. It's such an amazing opportunity to watch all these people from all these different countries come together and they're the best of the best.